Hi! What are you guys playing with today? How are you? So what are we playing with today? So we are playing with um, the liquid watercolors called Colorex by Pebio. And they are very concentrated dye-based watercolors. You can see here I've put them directly on the watercolor paper. And uh, so they're nice and dark. Let me actually pull it out with a brush for you like that so you can see the nice bright colors but normally when I use them I'll either spray them so they're fully rewettable on watercolor paper all right and also you, you might be able to see there we have a um, what's called a drawing gum marker which is actually uh, your frisket or your uh, masking fluid and a pen nice and it has this beautiful tip on it so that you can do uh, detail work with it and it also comes um, in a smaller bottle and my personal one which is a larger bottle here and you're going to want to use a little eraser like an adhesive eraser right. in order to pick it up so this is wet i'm not going to pick it up because it is wet but i started making some basic designs but if you come over here to the elephant i saw that amazing yeah. so you use the pen for that so, or did you use a paintbrush okay, for the frisket I'm going to show you a secret. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so this is exclusive for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I buy these brisket pens, so it acts just like a pen. And when you take this off, you've got the needle point in there. Oh, and nice. it comes in two different sizes. So it doesn't get all gummed up. Right. So this from your art supply store, but I like to use this to get a more organic line. Mm -hmm. And that's what I used in my elephant to get the organic lines. Oh, there. Because beautiful. you can see the lines are a little thicker. They're not the thin lines from the marker. If you want to do detail work or repair something, you can go in with this marker and, you know, pretty up your lines. Right. Right. Now, also, if you put your line somewhere, sometimes these blop out. Just let it dry for a few seconds. Right. And then you just roll it right off and redo it. Oh. Super easy to use. And so then, it's very user friendly in terms of fixing it. If you just, before you go and watercolor over it, exactly. just make sure you kind exactly. of like fix it beforehand. Yeah. And then in addition, we have now have the markers. Oh, lovely. And the cool thing about these markers is that they are refillable. <gasps> so just you by can use the big ones and using this dropper, it. And the, the instructions are right here, but it goes in until it sort of clips in. And then there's a wick inside here. Let me show you an empty one. So there's a white barrel on the inside. That's actually a wick. Oh, cool. So you can get up to five of these uh, droppers inside in there. there. And then this will wick it away. Um, that's what I was doing here. I started filling this one. And of course, I'm gonna fill one and make my own purple. Because you can that mix all the colors and make exactly. your own custom color. And the empties. So the empties come in sets of six. So you get them. You also get them full, and then you get them empty as well. Correct. Got it. Got it. Right. Very right. cool. Right. Yep. Well, and fantastic. They have some. They have some nice sets that you can get too. I always like sets. Yes, sets because are nice. With the sets, you're able to experiment. You know, dip your toe in the water, get to know them. Now, some people have asked about the tips. So actually, where's the green one? Is my favorite one. There's a green there. This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's out here. So my my favorite colors in these are the green and the sepia. Mm -hmm. There's just something about this. Uh, there are a couple of different greens. This is the. I'm a big green. fan of green. Oh well, there you go. And blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with the forest green, you can see here what I've been doing is um, some Chinese calligraphy. But any kind of calligraphy, of course, you can do with the um, with the brush. So I'm going to do the character. Let's see if I can do it upside down. <laughs> the character for heart is like this. But you can see that it acts just like a brush. Yes, it's okay. awesome. Yep, and then of course that's watercolor so if I just take a little bit of water I can come in here and soften the edges oh beautiful it's turning colors because I had colors on here. yeah but it makes it even better yeah. I love that it has like this really cool that's actually really yeah. pretty <laughs> I like the softening of the edges right and this is water look at like it's pulling and just kind of oh I love that <laughs> so pretty yeah yeah so tell me about the very stuff. fun doing a Sakura last night, just playing around with a Zen garden. So, you know, the, the markers are great for play, right. even if you don't have water around or brush. You know, handy. 
you can still get your watercolor fix with the markers. <laughs> hey, that's fabulous. And then go back later because it's still re-wettable mm -hmm. even after it's dry. You know, acrylic, which Pimeo has acrylic fluid as well, um, those of course are not re-wettable after they're dry, but this was from last night and I should be able to come in and just re-wet that. Oh, wow. So see how I can pull that back out. Right, right. That's fabulous. <laughs> I love that. And then the other thing that Pebio is introducing at the show is our leather paints. Ooh. So these are, um, what are the, uh, acrylic based leather paints. What you do before you start on the leather is you use a leather uh, preparer. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was, um, I have some leather pieces here. I was wiping those down. And then um, these are intermixable, so if I wanted to mix my own colors, I could mix my colors together. Just think of them as like an acrylic paint. Okay. All right. But once this is prepared, then it'll stick to the leather. Yes. And if you come around, oh, they, there are also not only pots, but there are also markers for this. So oh, nice. To make it easier. These markers are a little different because you see so how it's super fine point. Leather. Right. Okay. Um, we're getting the leather detail. Okay, right. interesting. She, she's all curious now too. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to come around to the display, you'll sure. see like yeah, jackets, same places. some gloves, some tennis <laughs> shoes, gorgeous. Oh, look at all these. Look at that. That is fabulous. So pretty. Oh, look at all that. So, so many fun things from Pebio. Now she's going to do her spiel again and go through it all again. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tell her thank you because I know she's busy again. <laughs> she's all good. Just tell her thank you for me.